everybody knows that contractors in general, roofing contractors in specific, have a bad reputation, right? They're scammers, they're crooks, they gouge insurance companies. Well, I'm sure that there are roofing contractors out there that do that. In fact, I know that there are roofing contractors out there that do that because when that kind of thing happens, it's very public. You hear about it on your local news station, you read about it, everybody starts talking about it. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the behind the scenes dirty little secret about insurance agents. Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and welcome to another one of our walk in the park videos. Today we're gonna to talk about bad reputations. <laughs> bad reputations that you probably don't know about. Last week, we talked about insurance adjusters and how they can game the system when it comes to an insurance claim. Today, I'm gonna to tell you some behind the scenes, dirty little secrets about how insurance agents do the same thing and profit from it. Okay, well, let's just jump right into this one because insurance companies will spend millions and millions of dollars every year to convince you what a good neighbor they are, to convince you that you're in good hands. And I'm gonna be the first one to say that not every insurance agent is going to act maliciously. Not every insurance agent is a bad actor like what I'm gonna describe. So I wanna point that out right up front that just because some insurance agents do things the wrong way, it doesn't mean that every insurance agent has a bad reputation or does bad things. But here's what most homeowners don't realize, that some insurance companies, probably not all of them, will change the amount of an insurance agent's bonus, quarterly bonus or annual bonus, based on whether or not there are claims amongst that agent's clients and how much those claims are. So if a big hailstorm rolls through town and a lot of that agent's clients' homes are damaged by that, that agent could sustain a fairly significant reduction in his or her bonus at the end of the year. So an ethical insurance agent isn't gonna care about that. And he's just gonna tell people, yeah, if you need to, go ahead and file a claim. But those who are more interested in the pocketbook instead of their clients being indemnified for their loss are going to try to encourage homeowners to not file claims because their company financially incentivizes them to do that. So, like I say, I'm not saying that the insurance company is telling the agents to tell the homeowners not to file claims, but that temptation is going to be there because of the financial incentive that's behind it. But there's a, there's a flip side to the dark side as well, because the more claims that you have on your record, the harder it is for you to shop around for other insurance coverage. So let's say you're with insurance company A and you decide, hey, you know, my costs are getting pretty high. I'm gonna shop around, see if I can get better rates somewhere else. The more claims you have on your record, the less likely it is that you're going to be able to have another insurance company write your policy or that you're going that you're going to be able to have that other company give you a rate that's any better than what you have. So the more claims you have on your record, the harder it is for you to shop around. The more claims you have on your record, the more captive you are to the insurance company that you have. So guess what? Insurance agents, on the other hand, like to encourage you to file claims because then they know you're a customer for life at that point. But sadly, it does get even darker because there are agents also who, if they're referring their clients out to a particular roofing contractor and that contractor is getting jobs from those referrals, that agent can get kickbacks from the roofing contractor. Now, not only is that unethical, but I believe that in most states, it's illegal. 
but it still happens and it happens not infrequently. Now, you might be thinking, oh, come on. How do you know this? How do you know these things happen? You're just making this up. Well, it's because I've had insurance agents actually tell me these things. So it's not like I'm just throwing false facts out there. I know I'm probably gonna get some hateful comments from insurance agents uh, totally defaming me, totally <laughs> telling me that this is absolutely incorrect. But it's people within your own industry that have told me that these things are the case. Okay, so now you know the behind the scenes dirty little secret about insurance agents. All right, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, please give us a call right up here. Our office phone number is 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. If this video has been helpful for you, please give us a big thumbs up and be sure to share the video with others that you think might need this information. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. And until our next Walk in the Park, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.